crowd was shocked and saddened when the host of G4's Proving Ground, Ryan Dunn, was killed along with Zachary Hartwell in rural Pennsylvania. Yeah, and I want to say one thing real quick. Listen, it's, it's never a good idea to drink and drive, and Ryan's decision to get behind the wheel that night caused him and his best friend to pay the ultimate price. And he made a horrible decision, and we should learn from it, but that one decision doesn't mean that we should forget the laughter that he brought to all of us throughout many, many years. I'm here with TV's Ryan Dunn. Daredevil, prankster, funny man. As one of the founding cast members of Jackass and G4's Proving Ground, Ryan Dunn was admired by fans the world over. Again! And although his life was cut entirely too short, he's left behind a legacy of laughter and stunts that will last us a lifetime. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what has gotten into you? <laughs> what I miss most about Ryan is his personality. You know, he was just so he was so funny and he made the most out of any situation. I love his antics too, you know. <laughs> They're gonna live on in infamy. <laughs> that works so much better than I thought! He's willing to do whatever it takes. You want him to dive into a sewer plant? Do you want him to jump off of this? He'll do whatever. Fearless. Self-deprecating. Oh, man. Sarcastic. Ryan embodied all of the necessary elements that would cement him into pop culture history forever. And he brought these talents with him wherever he went. Welcome to G4's Proving Ground! He just had an awesome perspective on the world and on life. And he wasn't out for himself. He wasn't in it for the money. He just really enjoyed the humor of it all. I mean, that's how I'm always going to remember him. Make people laugh. I can't think of anything better. I think we liked hearing people say that we're crazy. You guys are crazy. Awesome. He always brought that positive, positive feel, no matter what we was doing or what we was going on. Like, he was always a funny dude, and he had a real side to him. He was always the one who, like I said, would, hey, let's just chill out. Let's, we're going to get the shot. It's going to work, man. Don't stress. <laughs> hey. He was definitely uh, brave. <laughs> like, no fear, pretty much, even with driving in a car. <laughs> I think he would want to be known as as someone that was, you know, not only talented, but did some pretty incredible things and was a, a part of a grand, groundbreaking group of brothers that are a part of our culture forever. He may be gone, but he's definitely not forgotten. I think it pretty much hit everybody really hard. All in all, there's not a day that goes by where I don't think about it. It's so hard to talk about him in the past. It's like I don't, it, that's still, I'm still in denial, I think. I miss him as a person. I miss the fact that I could reach out to him and hit him up and talk to him about certain things. I miss, you know, him just not being here. He's definitely always going to live home. Man. More than anything, I think he'd be humbled by the fact that there is such a show of love for him on so many levels and how many people did appreciate who he was and loved who he was. I think he would be blown away by it. All right, joining me now from the Jackass team, Wee Man, Preston Lacey, and Dave England, everybody. So, gents, um, as I said, of course, I wish we were meeting under, under much more pleasant circumstances, but we are here to celebrate Ryan and... Uh, Preston, I loved your blog where you, uh, you told a very touching and tender story <laughs> where you tried to basically impregnate Ryan. <laughs> well, we were in uh, Norway, and I woke up on a couch like this, and Ryan was in front of me with his pants and underwear down, spreading his butt apart, talking kind of like the, the old Jim Carrey bit, except he didn't have any pants or underwear on. And I looked down, and there happened to be on that uh, snack table a tube of mayonnaise. So I was like, this is an opportunity and a half. So I grabbed it, and I jammed up Ryan's butt and squeezed, and we both laughed and laughed and laughed, and then we started talking about exactly what went down. <laughs> and Ryan said that was totally We both cool. came to, <laughs> yeah. and it sounded and great. He said that his, his justification was that we were in Scandinavia and that sort of thing happens all the yeah. time over there. If they're going to put mayonnaise in a tube, that's, that's where it should go. That's where it ends I, up. But I love that, that that is the reaction, no matter how silly the situation, no matter how crazy it was. Like, the result was laughter. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it, it, Ryan's one of the funniest people I've ever known. Sure. Dave, did you ever put anything awkward on, on Ryan? or? No, he'd punch me too hard if I did that. <laughs> so. Um, I always thought of Ryan, the thing, every time I saw him, I thought of was uh, just a young version of Santa Claus. 
he had the rosy cheeks and the yeah. big beard. And I used to talk to him about we, uh, maybe one day we would film like a, yeah, you know, just follow him around and have him do the stuff he normally does, just playing pool and hanging out. But, you know, say this is the, the young Santa. This is what he was like when he was, you know, in his 20s and 30s yeah, and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So. Jason, do you have any memories? Uh, we used to do things offset all the time that were just fun and dude stuff. Like, looking at all the Japan stuff, we were in Japan one time, and he's like, let's just go in the town and look at music. And we went into a record store, and he's like, here, buy this. And it was Tiger Army, and it was all in, Jap in Japanese. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, how would he know what this is, you know? And I didn't even know who it was. I'm like, all right, Ryan says buy it. I buy it, and, it, you know, it was pretty good. <laughs> I was like, okay, Ryan knows music too. So, but I well, find I mean, out I find out in Japan that's where you know Ryan has good. Right, he actually has international tastes. Yeah, in music. Uh, you, uh, your, your your blog entry. I, I saw thousands of comments on it. Uh, I've just scrolled pages and pages of of people that really connected with what you were saying, what everybody said about just how how jovial and cheerful and what a nice guy he was. Did, what do you think Ryan's legacy will be with? with his fans, the fans who love Jackass or watch him on Viva La Bam? I, I, that's a tough question. I, I don't know. I don't know what the, the, the memory will be of him, you know. Hopefully it's strong, you know, mm -hmm. for sure. I just, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry I don't have a good answer to that no, question. No, it's all right. I mean, I, what, what do you guys hope? I hope they know, like, he was always, like, he always had comments for anything people did. Like, if he did a stunt and everybody laughed, then he'd be like, okay, well, Preston, now it's your turn. You know, he always wanted everybody to be included no matter what it was and he, he's like he was he was one of the brothers yeah. and he'll always you know people people feel it they come up and say it every day there was a a moment in the latest jackass where he was going for the stunt didn't know if he was going to get it he nailed it and it seemed like everybody rallied around him as if like it wasn't just his achievement it was everybody's achievement it was like the greatest moment for the entire team were you there for that day or yeah the snake river yeah. redemption yeah. yeah that was awesome and uh, yeah. you got the sense that in, at a time where you, you don't know if someone's going to succeed or not like everybody wanted that for him everybody wanted him to nail it was that was he just that guy for everybody Oh yeah, yeah. You know when Ryan did like when he uh, the duck shoot thing when he goes flipping through the air like he just fell with such style. Like every time he did something, it looked so funny. And you know he hates water. That was another funny thing about him. Like, I remember one of the first things we were, we were doing the TV show before we did the movies, and he got tarred and feathered. And he was I think it was like black paint and then feathers. And yeah. Then that night he showed up. You know we were all hanging out down in the lobby. He shows up and he's still like that. He didn't even shower. And then the next day still like that. Didn't even shower. The next day the next day. <laughs> I never saw him clean that stuff off. I think it just finally came off on his He's own. He's a pro. It's, it's, it's continuity. You never know if you're going to need a pickup shot. It's very professional of him. Yeah. I love that you guys have th that friendship where, oh, he hates water. We're going to toss him in the lake. <laughs> That's exactly where Ryan needs to go. Um, Jason, if you don't mind, I, I, I loved your video blog where you immortalized him and you said you wish it were under better circumstances, obviously. You wish we'd lost a bet, but uh, do you mind sharing? With sure. The, the, uh, no, it's, yes, it's see it all the time. There it is. Yeah, I mean, it's him, you know what I mean? The random hero. Have you seen it? Yeah, I saw it. Not in real life, though. It looks awesome. It's incredible. Well, again, guys, uh, I, I, again, I wish you were under happier circumstances, but I really appreciate you guys coming here no, and sharing your No, thanks for having us. We're yeah, glad thanks. to be here to, to represent Ryan for sure. I really appreciate He's one it. of our best friends in the world. Definitely. Thank you guys so much. Thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Jason.